This is a cron tab that got compromised by an attacker. We cannot see anything at first glance, but if we open the file for editing, we will see a backdoor planted by the hacker. In this video, I will show you a technique to hide text and other content in Linux. This is using ANSI escape codes, which is designed to be used for controlling cursor location, color, font styling, and other terminal options. A common use of ANSI escape sequences is if we want to change the color of our text. Let's take a look at this example. In order for the terminal to interpret the codes, it must start with the escape character represented by these hexadecimal notation then followed by the open left brackets, which signals the start of the control sequence. After that, we will specify the character code we want. For example, we can put 31 to make the foreground red. We put M here to set it to graphics mode text style. If we want to set the red foreground until this word only, then we need to add another sequences of code telling the terminal to reset the formatting to the original color for the succeeding text. So the final output will look like this now. The escape character can be represented in different forms. For example, we can also use the octal form and it will return same result. Aside from modifying the text styling, ANSI escape sequences also have other purposes. One of these is to erase different parts of the display. Let's try something. For example, we want to try hiding this text. What we can do is at the start, we will put an escape sequence that will delete the entire line. Then at the end, we will put another sequence that will move the cursor up by one position. So if we try to run this, it will remove the whole text we specified in between. You are just seeing a very quick glance on the output when I run this because my laptop is running slow when recording this video. But in reality, that is instant and you cannot see anything in the screen. Now let's apply that technique in hiding text inside a file. Let's say we have a file with something inside and an attacker tries to inject a hidden payload, we only want to hide our malicious entry, but not the original content. We can repeat same escape sequences and append all of these to the file. Now, when we cat the file, we only see the original content. But if we edit it, we can see the payload injected by the hacker. Do note that since we only have few lines in this file, the entry injected by the attacker is very obvious. But in large ones, such as configuration files, this might not be easy to spot, especially if the attacker tried to use other obfuscation techniques. Lastly, in CAT, we can use this flag to show everything, including the non-printable characters and escape sequences. This will reveal those nasty payloads trying to evade detection. Hackers can inject hidden payloads in various files. One common place is inside cron tabs, like what you saw from the intro of this video. To do that, an attacker can create a cron that will execute every hour. This can point to a backdoor or any, any other persistence mechanism. Then, after the payload, attacker needs to put a hash sign following the same ANSI escape sequence we used in the previous sections. A hash sign is included here so that the cron will not execute any text beyond this point. So, if anyone lists the cron, it will not be shown in the output because of the ANSI escape sequences. But same thing, if the cron is open for editing, it will reveal the hidden entry. We can also see the hidden entry without opening the cron for editing. I don't think the cron tab command has the same dash of flag from cat, so what we can do is to just use other tools like xxd to open the cron tab file or we can just use cat again and open the cron tab file. As we saw from this video, ANSI escape sequences are not only used for text style formatting. They can also be abused by attackers to avoid detection. There are more variations out there, so if you know something, please share in the comments below. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.